Ladies and gentlemen, I have a live stream on H.A. Goodman right now. I need to finish this up. I, I, I want to do this segment, and uh, I, I wanted to do this on the Bitcoin crash to 10,000 or lower channel, and um, I unfortunately can't spend a long time explaining why Tether is going to go bankrupt and Bitcoin is going to get to 10,000 or lower and Coinbase will eventually go bankrupt. And I don't say this with glee or joy or any nasty sentiment or any, you know, negative thoughts. I respect people who invest in cryptocurrencies and I don't want anyone to lose their money. I started this channel because in my view, in my humble view, this is one of the biggest Ponzi schemes, one of the greatest losses of wealth we'll see in modern history. And it's not the fault of people who invest in Bitcoin, or I should say, it's not the fault of people who truly believe in Bitcoin and Ethereum and cryptocurrencies in general. It's the fault of a lot of a lot of individuals who I think focus on business and hype and public relations and imaginary money. So how were Tether tokens created? This is on the Tether website. Tether tokens are created by having multiple Tether private or authorization key sign and broadcast creation transactions on the specific blockchain. What the f does that even mean? Now, even if you, I, I can kind of understand it, but I don't really understand it. Can you tell me? What does that mean? Why am I wrong? Please tell me what that means because it's not money. It has nothing to do with anything of value. These, t these new tokens are, quote, authorized but not issued, meaning that these U.S., DT are stored in Tether's treasury and not in circulation until issued in response to market demand. Uh, okay, I have a treasury too of, of 100 billion trillion dollars in um, leprechaun gold. And um, it's actually at the end of a rainbow. You, you too can, well, I'll, I can redeem that, but you got to give me a dollar. Then you can have my leprechaun uh, gold coin. With my other fellow leprechauns who, um, at the end of the rainbow, uh, we, it's, it's called, uh, it's called St. Patty's Day Tether. It, it, do you see what I'm trying to get to? It, it makes no sense. There's no, what does this even mean? These new tokens are authorized but not issued, meaning that these USDT are stored in Tether Treasury. Tether Treasury? <laughs> what? What? They're based in Hong Kong. And I don't believe that they're supposed to have reserves of 70 billion in cash, 70 plus billion in cash, not cash equivalents. They only have 2.9% of their reserves in cash. Then they say, well, they cut their, their reliance on commercial paper, but they still haven't increased their cash. So Tether multi-signature multi model prevents a single person from issuing USDT on their own, which would represent a single point of failure and a security risk. What's the difference if everyone has their own Tether that they create? Why can't everyone create a Tether coin? Because they're not the corporation? The corporation's creating a token that is worthless. It's not backed by anything. How do, how do Tether tokens protect me from cryptocurrency volatility because they are anchored and tethered to a real-world currency? <laughs> no, no, they're not. They're not. <laughs> they're not. They don't have 70-plus billion dollars in cash. I don't have to know anything about cryptocurrencies, which I really like. I know perhaps more than the average person, but definitely not. If you're watching this right now and you're saying you don't know anything, H.A. Fudman, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, you know nothing, you're just a Johnny-come-lately, and you're just, a, you know, you're jumping on the bandwagon. Ladies and gentlemen, I've, I have been talking about this since September of 2021. I started uh, the Stock Market Crash channel, and the first segment I did on crypto crashing was in September of 2021 on H.A. Goodman, which I should be on the live, go on the live stream right now. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, I'll do more of this. Just read their website. Just read their website. The website's amazing. It's the, it's the best website in the world. It's the frequently asked questions. Tether token driving the future. Why Tether? <laughs> this is a terrible thing. I don't want it to crash, but it's going to crash. My God Almighty. It's going to be worthless. I don't wish this upon anyone. Do you understand? I don't wish this upon anyone. There is no value to a token they create out of thin air. And it's not backed by any 
It's not backed by any fiat, or I should say it's not backed by enough currency, by enough dollar bills. It went down to 95 cents after $7 billion in withdrawals, and it's supposed to have a 70 plus billion dollar market cap. You do the math on that. People, one person said, well, you haven't explained how it went bankrupt. Just replay what I just said. It went down to 95 cents with just a mere $7 billion mere of people taking their money out. But they're supposed to have over $70 billion in market cap. They're supposed to be able to absorb that and not make a dent in terms. It went down to 95 cents. This is Terra Luna, but it's just a bigger Terra Luna. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now to this channel, uh, Bitcoin Crash to 10,000 or below channel. Subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel below. I've been telling everyone this in the Federalist in October. I was uh, in October of 2021. I was published. I've been saying this since 2021. People, tell your friends. And uh, if you're watching this, go to the live stream now on H. A. Goodman. Thank you.